Yo, check it out, disgrace.x. One day when I was riding on the train, I seen these two kids talking. About the Nubian rain had fallen. I didn't say nothing because these kids caught my goat. Even pulled my coat like a murder that they wrote. So this kid with mouth swagger now plays the cloak and dagger. So I got some so right. to my Spend a weekend with any chicks. We be Thelma from Good Times, the 75 77 version. <laughs> Who's you rap? Uh, probably my man AG. And probably the Jizzle, somebody like that. Those are my two favorite rappers right now that I can think of. I got a couple of twisters. I don't want to incriminate none. If I can't, I got to leave them some of the Southern joints alone. I say, like being in LA and messing with Pac one time, uh, we got to the hotel and Pac pulls up. And he's like, yo, what y'all need? He's like, yo, uh, you know, we need some weed. And, uh, you know, Pac, first of all, the, the car that he pulled up, he ain't got no stickers on it, no, no tags, no stickers, nothing. It's like he got a, uh, just the, the car with no plates and no tag, nothing in the window. This nigga's riding around, got mad smoke in the car, and guns. Word up. So that's one. I would say try to be original, but I, but that don't really work no more. You know, it's, it, it, more of it's, it's bandwagoning, so... Uh, I would just try to say, just uh, just try to do something that's gonna separate you from the rest of these motherfuckers. I don't know what it is. That's that's for you to figure out. Uh, you just better have something with you that when they when they you better be able to fit the suit for that year. If it's two fourteen, two fifteen, you better be able to wear that suit for the year. Uh, do what you got to do with it. Um, uh, I would say the ones who may who, who probably get the jump first. Usually be the ones that last a little longer, you know what I'm saying? Because when somebody come in, it's a limited number of dudes they let come in and copycat, and then they put a box around it, and then you got to move on to the next phase of copying and let this dude come out. Like now, like, uh, everybody want to rock like this. Everybody got to bigger, bigger. And in a little while, that shit going to run out. Because my man started it, I guess, and he's the champion of it. And you got a whole bunch of other niggas now that's coming around riding that. So in a minute, they'll put a box around that, and that style will be over with for a minute. And, and then somebody else will come with another style. So just try to, if you're going to get into the style or, or, or follow somebody, you better get into it before the box cuts off. I mean, well, it's going to always be New York hip hop, and it's always going to be nice dudes in New York. You know, I, I, it, it's now, I guess it's just taking now dudes to realize from New York that uh, these other places really don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we had it for so long, man, that we we we, we, we kind of uh, we kind of bogarted it. Because when you look, and, this, and I say this from, from touring the country and, and going across the United States, when you listen to the way that people from New York speak, we speak in a way that's unique to us. You know what I'm saying? Usually when you go out of town, so when you hear somebody talking from a distance, I can spot dudes from New York. I'm like, well, you live in, you live up top somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Whereas if you take a good look at the rest of the country, the way the rest of the country as far as talking and linguistics, you can have somebody in Florida that sounds damn near similar to somebody in Louisiana who sounds somewhat similar to Houston who sounds somewhat similar to LA you understand what I'm saying so we New York dudes used to always be so even because I, I got this from my cousin my cousin lived in the Bay and he was like yeah y'all can rhyme and fast and everything and <clears throat> flip the words and everything but you need to slow it down so I can understand it so them slow down records that that slow down down south is the same shit that was slowed down in LA so I think that we we, we kind of we, we, we kind of tried to outfly ourselves and then when we outflyed ourselves when we seen that what the style was we start dick riding the other styles you know what i'm saying and it's like uh i love the south and everywhere like that but i would never want to rhyme like them let them do them and it's a lot of good dudes a lot of ti for one you know dudes like that's nice rhyming like nice nice and that's they shit and let them keep they shit i should never hear nobody i remember niggas in new york was like yo what up boy it's not like yo come knock it off son Knock that shit off. Y'all about a thousand miles from 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 Louisiana. You talking some woody shit. You wouldn't know nothing about that if you would have seen them niggas from down south saying that shit. So now you think it's fly to come up here and say that shit. That was a triple negative. Just keep that shit original, man. When, when I hear somebody that's trying to sound somebody like like somebody else, I'm like, damn, and they, they made you drink the Kool-Aid too, yeah. <laughs> Word. Mm. Let's go deeper to the phrase.
it's hard to pick one because uh, I've, I've done a lot, but probably one of the, the one of my most favorite ones is the, the is the record that I've uh, that I did with Biggie. Hey Biggie, I understand you're from Brooklyn with 22s in your shoes. Yo, keep the strength. Uh, well, why not blow up the spot with Sadat? Release the brainstorm to make your motherfucking brain. Cause yeah, I did that record when he was still alive. We both sat there and did that. Like it wasn't like, you know, he mailed it in from somewhere else. I mailed it. We was in the studio at the same time. Okay. Some of my favorite beats, the substitution beat. You know, if that's the ultra magnetic beat. Uh, beats. When we talking beats of all time, uh, probably one of one would be a uh, Coogee rap road to the riches. Uh, you know, um, <clears throat> probably a couple of tribe joints, you know what I'm saying? OC's, OC joint, Time's Up is, is one of my favorites. Uh, Sally got a one track mind, Diamond D, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like new, new joints that I hear, like Fab got a couple of beats that I really like. Uncle Murder got, got, got a couple of joints I like. Well, you gotta be willing to change, man, because the times change, and I can't get stuck. Can't get stuck in a uh, in your stubbornness. You know what I mean? And, and, and sometimes, sometimes your stubbornness and your pride will uh will, will allow you to go under if you, if you're not aware of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes was 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 refusing to change, and uh, you know they 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 didn't last. You know what I'm saying? I mean. This type of thing, this game right here is a what have you done lately for me game. This ain't the type of thing where you can take a five year break or a four year break and and and, and try to come back, you know, as you was. I've seen that with, with, with certain artists that's that's taking breaks. Like I, I love Shine, but I think the break that he took like that, that kinda hurt him. That killed his momentum. Then he couldn't come back over here. So that kinda jammed him, you know what I'm saying? Like dudes that that get caught in that long break like that, man, it, 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 it hurts. It's a, it's a what have you done for me right now type of thing. You got to stay sharp with it. You got to stay in the lab. You know what I'm saying? You got to, a lot of dudes got lazy. A lot of dudes got families. They made kids. You know what I'm saying? They they they, 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 they ate and got fat. You know what I'm saying? This, this, to, to be in this game and do what you want to do, you got to be in shape for it. You got to oh, you got to be moving around. You, you got to have the appearance also. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, granted, it's a couple, but you don't really see too many fat, nasty, out of shape motherfuckers doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not a good eye candy. Everything is about eye candy right now and, and the appearance, you know, as opposed to as opposed to sometimes going on the skill. Like I said, you ain't really got to really rhyme too good no more. You just got to fit the suit. They'll tell you first, I like the way you look. We'll make you be a, we'll make you rhyme. Don't worry about the rhyme. We'll get you some rhymes. You know what I'm saying? So I just say, man, just staying with the game and staying current. That's all. Give a shout out, you know, to uh, A and Gabe on the Groundwater Project, all my peoples, you know. Give a shout out to the brand new being brothers, you know, anybody that rock with some X, you know, worldwide. You know, appreciate that. Home Team Media, Brilliant Mind Productions, Grace X. Give me y'all a shout out. Peace.